Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm not stopping. I, I'm, I'm going to keep going as long as I can go with, with it. I'm not changing tactics and switching. But when you see me switching, when you see me coming on the uh, YouTube saying, uh, I don't believe the flat earth anymore, then you can assume that I've been tortured into that viewpoint. I don't believe the flat earth anymore, then you can assume that I've been tortured into that viewpoint. I don't believe the flat earth anymore, then you can assume that I've been tortured into that viewpoint. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be uh, continuing with the, the flat earth video. Even God has to build with something. I'm just saying. Sorry, Rob. Go ahead. Rob, go ahead. Yeah, no, I, you know, one of the things I appreciate about what Mark brings to the table as a video game programmer, especially now that I'm working on a video game too and starting to figure out how, you know, how to program stuff like that, is if we are able to conceive of these things with our finite, limited human minds, then obviously the creator could have figured out the same thing. Like when I first started thinking about the scriptures tell us in multiple places that the moon is a lesser light. It gives its own light. That's what it says in the text. And you know, the test we're going out there and showing it doesn't appear to be a reflector because it's giving off completely different light. So I started to rack my brain. It's like, okay, how is this thing giving off its own light? And early on in my investigations, I created a 3D model showing how the moon could be self-illuminating. Now there are problems with the model. I acknowledge that, but basically I was able to create a 3D model that still allowed the moon to create its own phases if it was self-illuminating. And right after I did that, I ended up finding, I, don't, I forgot who makes it, Hasbro or somebody, I don't remember who, who makes it, but the moon in my room, you can get it at Walmart, uh, and you know it's a, this half sphere that you can stick up on your wall, and by remote control, you can click it, and it will go through the phases of an illuminated moon in your bedroom. I'm going, well, I mean, if toy manufacturers can figure this out, then, then surely the creator of, of this uh, terrarium could figure it out at well. So figure it out as well. So to, to Mark's point, you know, from a programming perspective, sure, uh, the creator could make these things however he wants. And, and this actually came up in the discussion this weekend in the Q&A, was um, when it talk, the Bible talks about a coming great delusion, a, a great deception that could be so great that even the elect could be deceived by it. Well, if you look at that text, it actually says God sends it. God is the one who sends the great delusion. So I was thinking about that. I was going, well, you know, this is certainly a wonderful candidate for the Great Delusion because so many people are deceived by the spinning heliocentric globe thing that, I mean, wow. I mean, that's what makes evolution even remotely plausible. The whole ancient aliens thing, you know, all of that is is only really possible with the, you know, Earth in a small corner of an ever-expanding universe idea. Uh, so I thought, what if the creator or the programmer of this simulation set things up in such a way that depending on your preconceived bias and belief system, you could see it either way. In other words, if you, if you go into this fully convinced that we're in a spinning heliocentric ball, you know, a model in an ever-expanding universe, then all of your observations reinforce that belief. But if you go into it with the, the belief that the Bible means exactly what it says and says what it means, then we're in a snow globe. Well, I mean, I could say for myself, as soon as I had that seed planted in my head, you know, like the movie Inception, you know, once I had that planted in my head, that's all I see now. I, I, everything I look around, everything looks different. It doesn't look like it used to look like before. So, you know, I'm wondering if that's the way it was all, if this matrix, if you will, was programmed, that it's up to the observer uh, to decide what it is that we're actually seeing. Very interesting. And I know, but David Weiss, what did you have to add? Uh, no, I, I was actually just thinking back. I wanted to comment. Mark had um, a guy on from uh, the Armed Services uh, talking uh, about his experience there, but he was also very religious, and uh, he was talking about the Bible a lot. And he brought up a really good point, which um, I, I, it kind of rang with me, that um, the reason that you know baller, ball supporters act so violently when presented with flat earth truth, I call it, um, is because the entire ball earth concept is a satanic concept to separate us from God. And when, you know, when that is influencing you and you are trying to break free, it's kind of like an exorcism, you know, when the priest is coming up trying to throw some truth at the person, they react violently. And, you know, people are reacting um, unlike themselves, uh, very negatively, you know, Going back to Tiger Dan, look at the way this guy's reacting from the, the Tiger Dan we knew earlier. There is some satanic influence in there, and I really can't even believe I'm saying this at this point because I never <laughs> believed in any of this stuff. Yeah, and, and David and I were talking about this morning, and, and he's absolutely right. Find me, and I'm sure you guys would agree, find me another topic, and I don't care what it is, you know, church versus state, abortion, take your pick. I have never seen a topic 
generate this much polarization before to where and you'd think it's just two words it's just flat earth where people are just swinging in 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 the forums i mean just going at it so I, it's just amazing to me yeah it's it's like they're locked in and trying to break out of it is actually more painful than uh, yeah when we are trying to accept it you're going through pain try trying to get your your head in the flat earth world it's amazing okay so we're going to see it